Hello friends, it's an exciting day. I'm so excited because I just got in the brand new Natasha Denona Golden Palette. So her brand new release. Yes, it's kind of a redo of the old gold palette, I guess. But we're going to see what this is all about. If that interests you and you want my first impressions review, a few, you know, look ideas, then stick around and we're going to hop right on in. All right, friends. So welcome. If you are new here, I am Cher. On my channel, I cover a lot of different beauty topics, especially. I also love to do some vlogs, but we do some latest makeup releases. I'm really into Lux Beauty these days, and Natasha Denona is definitely my top favorite brand of all. I've gotten to where I'm kind of starting to collect like all of her things, but especially her palettes. I also cover a lot of beauty boxes here. Some of my favorite, like the popular beauty subscriptions. It's a great way to sample a lot of different amazing beauty and um, other like specialty boxes too. I like to do the spoilers and reviews and uh, try-ons and all of that fun unboxings. So if all that stuff interests you, you're in the right place and you'll want to stick around and pop that subscribe. So let's start talking though about this new beauty. Check out this packaging. How cool is that? I've got like fingerprints on it already. Hold on. Ah! But look at that. Look at that like cool design on there. Is that not the coolest? I was just immediately taken with that. How beautiful this is. But of course, this is another one that like you get your fingerprints all over it. I can't seem to keep it clean. But very luxurious. And then here is the inside. How beautiful. So, of course, this is going to be for the gold, you know, warmer tone lovers out there. So, very bronzy and golden, which um, some of you probably already have a color story like this. But I really don't have a lot. I've got the Juvia's Place Gold. I forget what it's named. The Warrior Palette really reminds me a lot of these same colors. But I do like a good golden color story and like bronzy. She does a lot of bronze colors, I have to say. Natasha Denona, she's a, a bronze girl. Um, there's even the bronze palette, right? I don't actually own that one. I did just get the glam. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go ahead and do some swatches and we'll take a look. So I'm going to do that off camera real quick and we'll talk about them. All right, guys, here is the full swatch on my whole arm. Sometimes I do them in pieces, but I got all three rows on the arms here. So definitely, you know, a pretty, I don't want to say monotone color story, but, you know, kind of like with the Xenon palette, you saw a lot of repetitive colors. It's all one color story. Same thing here. This is definitely all golden, right? But you've got some darker browns in here. And of course, this one's more of a shimmer. This one's more of a matte. And you've got your brightest gold shimmers here. This is definitely more on the, you know, almost bronzy side. And this is a little more on the yellowy side, a little more rusty yellow here, almost turning into a, I wouldn't even say green, but like shifting a little bit between yellow and brown. And these are more browns and tans, I think, down here. And I am so happy she actually put in a white this time. I'm always needing more of a white. I tend towards needing that a lot. This is a very light shimmer that barely shows up on me. And this barely shows up on me too, but a little more tan and like skin tone. Um, so interesting. Okay. So just wanted to kind of point out, I will say I've been doing a lot of swatches lately, guys, like ColourPop mystery boxes. Um, it's just all different things. I've been doing a lot of different like beauty boxes and I forget how buttery and smooth the Natasha Denona formula just goes on my hand as I'm swatching. So already like her formula is just unmatched in my opinion. Let's compare it to the pan. Um, the top row is starting on the hand here. The middle is in the middle here. And then this bottom row is here towards the end. So comparing it all, um, I don't know, you know, 
I'd say it's kind of looking about what I expected from the pan this time. There's been times where it surprised me a little bit, but this one is fairly on par with what I'm seeing in the pan, I think. So, all right, but let's see how it does on the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and create a look. I don't know how many looks I'm gonna do to got today, guys, because I am in a big hurry. Um, I'm pretty much gonna wear what I am wearing to roll out of town. It's early Friday morning and I'm heading out on a girl's trip, but I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and try to film as much as I can. And then I might video edit while I'm at the beach. We'll see if I feel like it or not, but I wanted to get this out while I could. I was so excited. So, um, it's just gonna be however many looks I can fit in, to be honest with you guys, okay? All right, so I'm gonna be back. We're gonna start working on a look. I almost wanna do like at least one look with more yellows and one look with more of these tan bronzy ones. Um, you know, after all, I feel like, okay, I've been dying for like this white color in every palette. And I know I say this all the time and I almost feel like Natasha Denona listened to me this time. Like maybe she's been watching my videos. I don't know. And she decided to put in a white one for me. But now it's almost like I don't feel a white one being called for this color story. It's like I need the white one more for the cool tone palettes. <laughs> Does that make sense? So I don't know what, now I don't know what to do with the white. But anyway, I want to do one in here and I want to do one up here for sure. So, I don't know. Let's start with the yellow, just so I make sure that I've gotten the yellow in, because I feel like that's what we're all looking at, is the gold in this palette. So, let's start with that gold. I'm going to start off with a transition shade. Um, I think I'm going to actually pull from the middle for my transition shade, and I'm going to go right there with that one, which is sandstone just do our like arching look. This helps to use a mirror so well. Mm, 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 mm. I always love my Natasha Denona and blending. Like I feel like her mattes and her shimmers all just go so beautifully. And I'm going to take a smaller fluffier brush and we're going to go with a brown color. I'm gonna go in with Log right there on the bottom. And we're gonna pop that in the corner. You know the drill by now. Almost make like a sideways V with it. Blend, blend, blend. And these darker colors are kind of your moment of truth for how they blend, you know? And that is blending beautifully. For the most part, yeah. There's like the slightest bit of patch like right there you gotta blend out, but oh yeah, that blends so pretty. There we go so far. Now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna go in with my fingers. I know guys, I keep forgetting to like spritz my setting spray or my Fix Plus or whatever. Um, on the brush to intensify everything. I keep forgetting to do that, but we're gonna go ahead and do an initial pop of gold on there and see how it does a rusty one at the outline and then do the brighter one. Yeah, kind of more along the edges here, like a darker gold right in there. There we go, darker, rustier, as like a transition over to the brighter one, if that makes sense. So just a subtle little bit here. Mm. Oro, is that the right name? And cover the rest of the lid. Okay, there's our bright one. Yes. That's what I'm looking for right there. Beautiful, very pigmented and bright and golden for sure. And we can kind of intensify it if we want into the rest of the look. On one side of the brush is a purple color, sorry, but this side of the brush is clean. Yeah, that made it more intense. Ooh. 
Ooh, she's popping. There we have it. Sometimes spritzing it though makes it a little patchier in my opinion. I'm gonna come in with a lighter color. I think I'm gonna use this one right here to give us a little highlight. Yep, just a little touch. Okay, I think that's all we need. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera real quick. We'll come in and figure out some lips with it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here is look number one, all done. Sorry that the lashes are a little big to show you on the eyes, but just wanna kinda give you a feel for it there. Um, the first note I wanted to make is that I completely forgot to put down translucent powder, even though I had some face makeup on and everything. So, um, making sure my lashes are on. I didn't have any fallout, even though I did not put the powder down. Usually I have to put that down if I have on like foundation underneath to catch fallout and I completely forgot and I didn't have to. There was no fallout whatsoever. Um, I felt like the formula was so buttery and gorgeous. The only one that gave me maybe a slight problem was this one, that darker brown on the edges and that's usually the case. Just a, the slightest bit choppier you know, you just gotta really blend it out really good. But besides that, everything else was blending great, especially those shimmers. And I felt like we didn't really even need the setting spray that much to bring out the vibrancy of that gold pop of yellow right there. And then I think I used that one too. So it was like these two that are popping bright yellow on the eyes. So overall, loved it. I'm gonna try to squeeze in at least one more look for you guys. I'm hoping for at least two looks, but we're gonna see. So I'll be right back to get you guys a second look, but here is the first one. All right, guys, I have removed the makeup and re kind of primed my eyes. I've got like um, the liner still on a little bit, but uh, you can tell where the lash glues. I'm gonna have to clean that up. But anyway, I gotta keep moving. <laughs> so we're gonna come with another look. I think I'm gonna try something more from down in this range and just see if we can come up with a really pretty, you know, it's just a very pretty like a bronzy peachy look down here. You know, this one is quite reminiscent of the I Need a Nude palette in my opinion. Um, yeah. Like this end screams, I need a nude. And this end is more gold. So I don't know, we'll see. I just wanna do something else that's pretty and elegant, I think probably very similar to what I just did. I don't know, maybe we should do a little bit more of like a halo eye on this one or something just to be different. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm gonna come in with, oops, that color right there, which is called Aria. And again, we're doing the same motions. We're gonna do this across in the transition. I'm gonna come in here with this middle one, which is teak. It's a little darker. So it's just a little bit darker than the transition shade I have, but it's not like too dark. But just to give this a little depth, I think, I think I'll do a little more of like a halo effect. So I'll bring a little more over on this side too. I'm going to wisp this out a little bit. This makes almost more of a V over here. This is a repeat. We might have to compare it to the I Need a Nude in a minute and just see if the colors look similar. <laughs> Pona in the middle here as like a mat underneath, just right there in the middle. We're gonna go for the gold for that pretty, pretty one, Nubia. Yes. See, these are my kind of colors right here. Like this is so what I love, but it's very, very much like the I Need a Nude palette. Let's see what the end looks like. This fizzy one, I'm dying to play with that. 
just for like a little pop of color. Um, well, I'll put a little dab right here to lighten this up. Nah, I'm just gonna use this for the inner corner. Okay, but it's very textured. See how glittery it is? So I don't know that it works for the inner corner. I think you're gonna wanna stick with Aura or this one. Miko and see what that's like the white that white one that I was like oh my gosh she gave us a white I'm gonna mix that into it just so it's lighter okay I think that's everything I want to do with this one I am going to clean it up do the other eye I'll be right back all right guys here we have it Oop, I got hair really pretty on this one I love this look see this is so like so my kind of look I'm having to look in my palette because I can't see good from the phone. <laughs> I'm like blind as a bat. But yeah, really pretty. Let's take a peek at the I Need a Nude palette and compare it. We could even pull out my glam. I feel like uh, bronze might be similar colors too. Right, let's take a peek at the I Need a Nude palette. So this one obviously has more yellows and bronzies and this one's a lot more like peachy toned, but if you look more around in here, they're very similar to a lot of these over here. Do you see that? So look to the your left or my right, I don't know. Look over on this side of this palette, like the far sides of each palette, you'll see a little bit of similarity, I think. There's definitely some crossovers. Let me see if any of them have the same names. Yeah, no. I'm not seeing that they have the same names, but very similar colors. Like, okay, Panna right here looks an awful lot like Fair right here. So you still have a little bit of like peachy. Okay, you got Flesh right here. And in here you got Mesh. I think those are pretty similar. And then on your shimmers that nubia that we just did right here that's on my eyes i think it's pretty close for the muse maybe the whisper so you've got a few similar ones <clears throat> but obviously it's not the same all the way across the board um the glam palette i just got this one you know these take on a little more rusty, almost gray colors, charcoals. Um, not a lot of close. Yeah, there's not much. You still have that, what is this one? Blend though is pretty similar to some of these chalk pinks, right? Um, so I feel like, you know, it's different enough, but I feel like the colors that I'm drawn to in the I Need a Nude palette, I'm not as drawn to the peach ones, honestly. I'm drawn more to these. It is those shimmers and those bronzy shimmers in here is what I'm really drawn to the most, which are what is similar to these. So I almost feel like for me personally, it took the best of the I Need a Nude and then added more of what I need in here, like a white matte and some gold too, to be able to create like gold party glamour looks and stuff. So, I mean, it doesn't have like everything I'd ever want. I feel like the white I had wanted, but I almost need that with a cool tone option too. So that's my take on it there. How about one more look? We're gonna do one more that is cool toned, all right? Not cool toned, but one more where we can use that white so I can show you guys I have an idea of how I can use it, and it's what I would do for bridal makeup for a lot of people that want this particular look. I'm gonna see if I can actually recreate that using a gold-toned palette I never would have thought. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, one last look. Y'all bear with me here. I just wanna see if we can pull this off. I am actually um, a professional makeup artist. I do freelance makeup. I do weddings a lot. And so I have my number one most requested look so we're going to go in with that white, the Mika, and we're just going to see if we can pull this off. My very cool tone look from a very warm tone palette. So, all right, so here's some white. We're just laying down some white. 
on the lid. I'm just packing it on. And I don't have all my good brushes with me because I have a big wedding coming up after this girl's weekend. And I don't want to re-sanitize everything for it. I need all the brushes I can get. So I'm just going with my backup brushes right now. Okay, so we're just going to do the white on the lid. Very simple. And then we're going to come in with a warmer tone. I'm going to start with like the teak just so it's not like too dark on the edges yet and just see what it looks like. And we're going to pop this. Yeah, that might be just the right color. Okay. It might be just the right color. So just enough to make a slight like smoky on the edges. And then normally I come in and do like a, a topper if they want the topper. Um, like some kind of very sparkly crystals or something across here. But that's really about all we need is just a little pop of smoke right here in the edges. We could kind of, we could kind of dust that maybe the, I don't even want to do that. Like the sandstone maybe? Or the flesh. Let's try the flesh. I don't think I've done anything with it yet. Light though, like a light dust, like barely there. Almost like a, just bringing like a transition shade across the top, but barely. I think that was too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go back with the white over that. I don't think I even wanted that. Now I messed up my, my smoky here. But no, that's about it. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. So this would be like a standard bridal look with a topper on it. Give it like that white. Like I have like a crystal or silver like um, sparkly glittery toppers to go over that and that is my standard bridal look with like good lashes and all that so I can't believe I can actually do that with this palette that's like a warm tone so I feel like I can do more with this palette than I can my I need a nude which I love it's probably like my favorite palette so that's crazy to me I wasn't expecting that <laughs> um let's see if we can do something else though with it fun let me throw on the aura on top of that which is this one that's more um, more of the shimmer, and add a shimmer and see what that looks like. I feel like in the pan, it almost took on like a slight like blue tint or something almost, don't you think? I don't know. No, that's really pretty. I mean, that could even work as a topper too. Yeah, I love that. That's perfect. That is exactly what I was going for amazing. So if you wanted to turn it into slightly more warm tone, add in that fizzy and that I think would still give you a pretty light but more golden touch to it. So you could go either way and I think you could make you a pretty like bridal look right there. I don't feel like the camera is picking up on the shimmeriness as much as my mirror in person. There you go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish this and I'll be right back. All right, guys, and here it is. It's a lot lighter, so harder to see. Again, I didn't have time to clean this glue out of my lashes, so just um, so impressed that I was able to even pull off three looks today. I'm on a time crunch, so I've got to wrap this up. So here is look number three. So yes, I'm so impressed that we were able to do more of like a bridal look. Again, I'd probably add more of a popping topper to it, but it's so like soft and shimmery. Can you see that? Like just a really soft, pretty shimmer. Like that color right there. Where'd it go? No, that one is such a favorite. Overall thoughts. Let's talk about overall thoughts. So 
I am so surprised that I feel like I could probably do more with this palette than my I Need a Nude. I love the I Need a Nude, but I guess it's just that this has more colors in it that I normally pick. Like, I feel like these are true, more neutrals down here, and you have a white one. So that just changes everything. But then you have a good little white shimmer too and a light gold shimmer option, but then some medium range gold shimmers and neutral shimmers and then really, really gold shimmers. So it's really just missing, you know, you're not gonna get a lot of other like cool tones in this palette, but you can actually make at least one cool tone look, I think. And you could even probably do another soft pink that are not leaning as peachy as what's in the I Need a Nude, I think. So for me personally and what I wear or what I do on clients, this one is more versatile for me, believe it or not. I did not expect that to be the case because I was just picturing this is gonna be an all gold, bronzy, crazy gold palette, but it's not. I think that you're only getting gold out of one side of it, guys. You're getting gold out of this up here. The rest of it is pretty neutral and bronze. That's my take. So, which I love. That's perfect for me. Um, but yeah, so see, like, this is the gold part. The rest of this is neutrals and bronzy. Maybe a little peachy at times, but like, yeah. That's pretty darn neutral in my opinion. Um, I think it's more neutral than her peach, peachy leaning one here. This is so peach. This is like peach snops to me. And I talked about that when I did the review for this one. I mean, I've come to love this. Like this is probably my favorite palette of all, but it was just a little more peachy leaning than I thought. But I really do think that this one's more of the neutrals that I'm thinking of. So that's my take on it. I really love it. Do I think, as my title implies, do I think that your gold is worth this gold. Plunking down the gold, the money for this gold. Do I think so? I think if you don't have, I think you have this color story in other palettes. I think you've got neutrals any day, but Natasha Denona neutrals are just oh, amazing. Um, if you've got another palette that has some golds in it, you probably don't need this palette because it's mostly like neutrals and bronze and gold. And I think that you see that in so many palettes. But if you want it like all together like this in one, then I think it's worth it. It kind of just depends on what you're looking for and what you what gaps you have in yours. For me, I'm very happy with it. And I love the Natasha Nona formula. So for me, it's worth it. I love it. Yes. And I kind of collect hers anyway at this point which I do have a code if, you know, you ever you want to use it, you can save 15% with my code SHARETORO on her site. I just mentioned that and I'll put it down in the caption too. Um, but that wraps it up today, guys. I Let me know if you're picking it up and what you think. Let me know which look you liked best. I think that those three looks pretty much summed up what you're going to do with this palette. You're going to make either a light look, a neutral one like that, or a very gold one. So, um, you know, pretty redundant, yes, but I like the colors of redundancy. They're the ones that I need. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, make sure you stick around if you love reviews like this, latest breaking. If you love Natasha Denona, I will bring a lot of Natasha Denona here and other beauty as well. Uh, turn that notification bells to on, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.